Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mizuma Games channel. So today I want to show you guys my new bulk storage system, uh, which packs a lot of functionality actually, and I think you guys are going to love it. So this new storage system does a lot of things automatically, and it also allows you for some uh, manual control over things. Uh, and the way I'm going to show you what it does, because it does a lot of stuff, is by actually going through a few practical examples. So I have some grass in my inventory, and here's the input chest. If we place like one stack of items, uh, they go through the item elevator. This lamp turns on to show you so. And at the top here, uh, we have an item sorter. You can see all the different categories here uh, if we go through the hoppers. The item elevator is silent, by the way. And the items get sorted to the corresponding slice right here. And you can see the items are all coming here and they get stored. And what's going to happen is once uh, all the storage is completely full here, the items are going to be automatically redirected to the back here where we have a bunch of uh, shulker box loaders. You can see a bunch of shulker boxes here. So it's going to try to put the items inside the shulker boxes because it has ran out of space. It can detect it automatically. Once the shulker box is completely full, the system breaks the shulker box and stores them at the bottom here. So if you open any of these barrels here, you can see maybe some shulker boxes. Uh, they are going to always be completely full uh, because the storage knows how to manage these things. A system like this is obviously going to require a lot of shulker boxes for storage. Uh, which is why I also included this storage on the side here. So if we open the chests, well, you can see that we have a bunch of shulker boxes stored. And not only that, we also have a smart system for distributing the shulker boxes. And what happens is when a shulker box gets broken, the system actually sends a signal through these rails up here uh, to the central storage where we have a bunch of shulker boxes. And it basically requests this wine cart to bring uh, one shulker box to that specific slice. Uh, the slice where the shulker box is missing is going to turn these comparators off, basically one comparator at a time, and then it's going to take the shulker box it needs, it's going to lock itself back, and then the minecart is going to return to its position, so it doesn't waste shulker boxes. You can see that we currently have 16 empty shulker boxes here, and one nice thing that I added is if you place an empty shulker box here, there is a filter up at the top here that will automatically take that shulker box and place it where it needs to be. So as you can see, we have one little shulker box here, they all get stored here and they only get requested and when needed. There are two situations where the item sorter might not be able to sort items for you because it can only sort for a single item that uh, you can see with the item frames here. So it is when uh, one item is not listed. So let's use the diamond as an example and also when an item cannot stack. So let's use uh, these items here as non-stackable items. They have all been transferred here. And at the end here, you will notice that uh, we will get the diamond here uh, as this hopper here. And this hopper can be connected to a different stored system like the multi-item sorting system that I have shown you guys a few weeks ago. Uh, actually, this was designed to fit perfectly with the recategorizer and uh, my past systems. Uh, it has the exact a height that it needs to be and the hopper lines perfect, will perfectly connect to any of my previous systems. And if the item is non-stackable, it can also be uh, stored inside this chest here. As you can see, we have the horse armors here and at the back here inside the hopper. Your system might eventually run into this situation here where we run out of space even for the shulker boxes here. I'm not sure how we're going to get to this situation, but it is what it is. If any of these slices here ever fills, fill up, uh, it's going to send the extra shulker boxes to this chest here. And also, if you get any item inside this chest here, uh, the system is also going to warn you by uh, using a drama system. With the flashing lamp and everything, it's basically telling you that you need to do something about your storage or you're going to eventually run out of space. And those are all the things the system can do for you automatically. So now, let's talk a little bit about the things that you can do uh, for the system, meaning the manual control, meaning <laughs> what are all these levers for. So I prepared an example here. Uh, normally, as I mentioned, uh, your items are going to be stored inside these shulker boxes here, or barrels, whatever. Uh, and uh, once they're full, they're going to the shulker boxes. And that's the rule. And you can change the rule by flicking the lever here. Once you do this, you're basically blocking the path that uh, the, the items take to be stored here, and you're going to force the items to automatically go to the shulker box loader. You might want to do this for your own reasons, maybe because you want to sell items in a shop and you want to, you want your shulker boxes to be filled for now and then you can basically turn it off. So I have one example prepared here uh, where this shulker box here is almost full. It's just missing one single item here. So what we can do now is, uh, this is for netherite blocks, right? The block that we usually have a lot uh, in survival. So we can flick the lever to force new items to go to the shulker box and then we can place one other right block. It's going to be recognized eventually, and it's going to end up inside the shulker box. And we can see it breaking. 
there we go. The item got sorted and uh, the shulker box got full. It got broken automatically. Uh, as you can see here, I forgot to mention the shulker box got automatically replaced. Uh, this was called uh, the, the, the distribution system and your shulker box is going to end up inside here. See, now we can see the, the completely full shulker box. So another thing we can do uh, if we load the system with a few items, let's try to redirect grass now. So can redirect grass to the shulker boxes. But the thing now is I'm just placing half stack inside it. Uh, if we look at the sorter here, uh, it's going to be placing the items inside the shulker box, but the shulker box is not going to be full. We can look here on the side and you should be able to see that now this comparator has turned on, which means it has items inside it. So the last functionality that I actually added uh, yesterday was the ability to break the shulker boxes or uh, the partially full shulker boxes by, play, by pressing this button here. So, uh, well, we actually need to make some room here, so let's do this. Uh, so now we have some room and let's press the button. And now the system is going to break the shulker box. See, we have exactly our 32 items inside it. I forgot to show you the comparator. <laughs> so maybe we can do this again. I can try it with a different a different slice as well. So see, uh, the empty shulker box is right here. Uh, this is empty. Let's press the button. And you can see that, uh, yeah, the comparator has turned on. And now my card's going to turn. And we should have another empty shulker box here. So yeah, we have a way to request partially full shulker boxes. And this interface looks pretty amazing, but that's not the only kind of interface we can do. We can actually do variations on this. And this is the redstone behind each slice, or uh, at least what does most of the job. In order for you to understand all of the things that the system is capable of doing and taking into account the fact that you might want to customize your interface here, uh, I will show you why soon. <laughs> I decided that, uh, well, this is too complicated to start things with. So uh, if you let me, I want to take you on a journey through all of the decisions I make with this project so that you, in the end, will be able to understand all of its capabilities as well as the limitations.